think we said last year that 2012 would be the year of transitions and the year of narratives, a year when people would want to blame uh, someone for what was happening. It's the problem of the bankers, it's the problem of the Americans, it's the problem of the Greeks and the Italians who mismanaged their economies in Europe. And I think we've seen that. We've seen the beginnings of a series of transitions and we've seen a lot of blame. And the result of that, I think, is that 2013 is now the year of real change. We've had a few elections this year. The, there were elections in the United States, which are pretty important. Elections in Egypt, which will set the tone for what else happens in the Middle East. But also there have been elections in France. There have been elections after a fashion in China, but a new leadership in China. There's been elections in Japan. And we're facing elections before the end of next January in Jordan and Israel, which will be pretty important. So those changes are now in train. And we'll see the practical results of that question then arises as to where will we actually see those results, where will they be most obvious. And as far as we're concerned here at Rusi, I think we'll see them certainly in southern Europe. This, this wheel of Europe is changing in a pretty big way. So the economic crisis is now fundamentally a political crisis, a crisis of governance. And what looks as if it's happening on the fringes of Europe is actually now happening in the core of Europe. And the question whether the EU survives whether Britain stays in the EU. These are now mainstream political questions. They're not the questions asked by lunatics, which they would have been three or four years ago. They're now mainstream questions. And we've got to face that reality during the course of 2013. The Middle East is also changing in a pretty big way. The Arab Spring keeps on happening. It's, it's not a short-term process. And so the Arab Spring will produce real structural change during 2013, from, from the Levant certainly, and possibly uh, as far as the Gulf. There will also be big changes in Asia. We're looking at the emergence of China, but not just the emergence, the emergence of China in relation to its neighbours in uh, around the South China Sea, around the borders of China with the other players in the region, Japan, uh, Philippines, Indonesia, Vietnam. All of these countries are now disturbed by what they see. And the Chinese, not very strategic in the way they go about things as it happens, but the Chinese are now as it were, making the running in Asia, across the board, Northeast Asia, but Central, uh, Central Pacific as well. And we will see that play itself out. And not least in Britain, we will have a comprehensive spending review at the end of 2013. And the CSR will actually be a mini defence review. You look at what was announced for the comprehensive spending review, undoubtedly, we are now started on the road in 2013 to the next defence review. So there'll be a mini version of it during the second half of 2013, and that will presumably translate into a major defence review sometime in 2014. And in relation to that defence review, we can't predict what the economic outcome of that will be, but one strategic reality is certain, and that is that British defence policy is now reacting to the pivot to Asia, America's pivot away from Europe, apparently, towards Asia. But the pivot to Asia has also got to be understood in American terms as a pivot away from such a direct involvement in the Middle East and in the Gulf. And so as the Americans move as it were to Asia and away from Europe and the Middle East, so that raises fundamental geostrategic questions for most of the European countries, but particularly for Britain. I think the uh, Chief of the Defence Staff, General Sir David Richards, spoke here uh, at the beginning of, uh, of uh, the Christmas period in his Chris annual Christmas lecture. And in that lecture, he clearly pointed to the fact that our defence policy and our military policy is now much more aware of our responsibilities in the Middle East, such as they may be, our responsibilities to reassure our friends in the Gulf. And I think we're at the beginning of what I think will be a process of military reorientation for the British, which will take us well into 2014, 2015. And from the point of view of a researcher and a research director, next year will be a real humdinger. It's a rotten time to be a politician, but it's a great time to be an analyst. And I think we will be doing some extremely sensitive and important work at Rusi during 2013.